Hey guys, Pablo here. In this video, I'm going to share one of the most important updates of the old world, uh, which is a project that I introduced to you guys around a month ago. Uh, at that time, the official DL world, official version was currently under development, but we, you know, con uh, talked about all the other concepts. We learned about their token, all the other mechanisms and so forth. But now in this video, we're going to take a look at the official test uh, of the game itself. Uh, so we're going to have a more hands on experience on this project. Uh, I covered complete information about this project about the concepts and every other information in the first video that I'm going to link in the description as well. So make sure that you watch that first and then come over here. And with this out of the way, let's move straight to the video. So the summary of this project is that this is the first idle game on the Bind Smachin with a historical fantasy theme that have elements of gamify, sociofy, defy, and NFTs. Uh, in this game, you buy soul-based eggs in the mall using GOSC tokens, and you get them hashed, and after they get hashed, you use GOSC to buy their feed, and you feed them, you turn them into adults, and after they are, you know, they're adults, you synthesize uh, them, and you get higher level of soul beast, which can then participate in the PvE or PvP battles, to obtain various game items and equipments, um, you hunt soul beasts and battle against boss to obtain soul links and soul stones respectively, and you use them to increase your soul power and combat power of your soul beast respectively. You can also get a divine beast NFT. Without this, uh, you cannot enchant your soul beast that you have, you know, obtained, uh, which means that you won't be able to mint the soul beast uh, to NFTs and, you know, you cannot trade them unless you enchant them with the um, divine beast NFT. So now if you come to the game, uh, you'll first connect your wallet, make sure that it has by so much network added and selected. Uh, for right now, since it is uh, on the test net, so I'm using BSE test and network on the MetaMask. Uh, when you log in, this is what you'll see. Um, now do note that this is still a test version, but we're getting an idea on how the game looks like. When we talk about the token model of this project, we learned that there are two tokens. We have GOSC token, which is the in-game currency, and then we have the GSD token, which is the governance token. Uh, so when you log in and you have these tokens in your wallet, they will show up on the top right, you know, accordingly. Uh, after you buy them, you will need to import the tokens by adding the token addresses of GSG and GOSC like this. Now, while I was making the first video, the option was coming soon to buy the GSD token, but it is here now, so you can buy the GSD directly from PancakeSwap. So simply click on buy GSG, go to PancakeSwap, import the token, uh, then connect your wallet, which have the buy smart network added. And from there, you're going to use BNB or BEP20 tokens to get GSG. Now, if you come to the game, you can see different options here and we will explore and learn about each, you know, each one of them. First, let's talk about profile customization. Uh, on the top left, you can see your profile picture and your name, which in the start may say, you know, default. But after you click on it, it'll show you different titles to approve if you have these titles like Soul King, Soul Saint, Soul Dulo, and Title Dulo. You can upgrade your title with GSG with whatever the current US dollar price of GSG is. Uh, if you go to the personal tab, here's where you can select the picture and you can enter your name and confirm it. Now, let's start with each section and learn what it is for. The first thing that we need in order to start is to buy the soul beast eggs, right? And, you know, afterwards we hash them and then feed them into, and then we convert them into adults. Now, in order to do that, in order to get the egg, uh, we'll go to the soul hall you'll see a free mystery egg box uh, available for claiming. But if you try buying it, it will ask you to increase your account level. So for this, we'll go back to our profile and we're going to upgrade our level by buying one of these titles. Uh, I'm buying the Soul King title. Then, you know, you come back to the Soul Hall, claim my free mystery egg box. Normally, the egg mystery box would have cost 100 GOSC, but since we just upgraded and, uh, you know, our title, so the first one uh, will be free. However, in order to successfully hatch our soul beast, we will need to buy food for the soul beast, which will cost 0 0.5 GOSC per bag or, you know, unit. Um, now, once you have bought the mystery box, come to the treasure court. Uh, this is where all of your stuff goes, like egg, feed, soul link, etc. Here, you'll find the mystery egg box. Open it up and you'll get the egg. Uh, as you can see, the attribute of my egg is water. So that's what my soul bees attributes is going to be. 
click on it and then click on hatch and that's when it'll start hatching uh, as we started earlier it will take 10 days so the timer has now started once it's hatched uh, you can go to the soul forest and this is where you can feed the soul beast to turn it into adult soul beast and as you can see on the screen right now we have the you know the young soul beast we get the option to feed uh, our soul beast and there's the auto feed function too that you can use now let's take a look at other places and their functionalities. Uh, we have trading market where players can place their GOSC for sale and bidding. So this is a place where we can get GOSC or where we can sell our GOSC for USDT. Uh, I got a little GOSC from here just to show you guys how it's done. Uh, simply select any offer that you like, click on buy. It'll give you the option on how many of these packages or offer that you want to buy. Select it and then click on buy. It'll open up your MetaMask. Click on approve and that's all you need to do is done uh, if you come to the crystal section this is where you can see your soul power and your current rewards in GSC and how much of it is claimable this is where you will be able to you know claim it in the previous video we talked about all the ways uh, through which you can earn and utilize GSC and GOSC so make sure that you watch that video first uh, in that video we talked about divine beast NFT and how important it is uh, we can acquire it using a GSC and we can only sell our soul beast after they're enchanted by a divine beast plus holding the divine beast nft will give us all sorts of perks and token rewards without doing much once you have it uh, you can come to the temple to claim your rewards in gosc and gsc the interface is pretty straightforward uh, you can see your total revenue here just click on receive and approve it uh, from your wallet also there's one crucial thing to keep in mind uh, is that the divine beast nft are extremely rare in this game uh, there are only 1000 as you learned in the previous video there's only 1000 of these nfts in total and 200 of them are are already gone in the previous round uh after the deal world's official launch there will be only 300 more available for public purchase and the remaining 500 will be given out as rewards for notable community contributors um apart from all the areas we have visited you can see ancient battlefield and teleportation which are currently locked but it gives us an idea uh, and a sneak peek into what's coming in the future which honestly creates a decent amount of excitement that things aren't at hold so i think that's pretty great now we do have a referral system or an invitation system in which you can invite your friends to play the game and you get rewarded through that the interface of it will look like this it'll give you your referral link once you connect your wallet on site and it'll show you how many you invited and based on those it'll show you how much usc and gst is earned and is ready to be claimed uh, we have two types of referrals here direct referral and team referral with their respective rewards in gsc and gst so this is how the referrals work for the first member under your team you will get a nice 15 percent bonus from the said members in game gsg spending whether it is used to upgrade account level or to buy uh, titles or enchantment etc and if that member is inviting another friend into the team that member will get 15 percent from the friend he invited to so that's the direct referral bonus and any member who joined after the first member one person of their gsg spending will go to your bonus too with a maximum of 10 people in the team so this is team referral bonus uh, this mechanism works for geo se token spendings too but the rates are different um, we have 15 person for direct referral and one person for team referral bonus uh, but in the geo se is 30 person and uh, two person respectively and there's also maximum of 10 members in the team uh, now in the first video we talked about all the possibilities through which we can earn through this game you can see the screenshot from that video so we have plenty of options and ways to earn here there are also large bonuses right now uh, based on which all those users who upgrade levels will be eligible to redeem one times launch package which includes one soul based egg mystery box 100x arena tickets and one nft skin redeem ticket and the user who upgrades before july they will receive three times the GSC staking allowance uh, and there's 50,000 GSC rewards pool for users who completed both of the direct referral task and team referral task before 30th of August uh, and finally we have a super bonus event in which whoever reached both direct referral amount of 10,000 and team referral amount of like 100,000 they will get one divine beast NFT uh, they have kept 100 divine beast NFT for this event and um, I think this is basically all I have for you guys uh, in this, you know, in this update video. Uh, make sure that you check all the links in the description that I have. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned. Disclaimer, trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital. 
You should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not.